I haven't drank coffee today because I'm trying to cut it out. Is that you? I think I got the wrong dog. Go to your happy place and keep surfing. So we're doing another staycation. We have a slight problem with our living room. having a date day today and we are going to a restaurant that took me forever to get a reservation. It takes like two weeks to book it. I have been wanting to go here for over a year. I've made three reservations now so if you count like two weeks each time it's taken me quite a while and I am so excited to go. This restaurant is called Billow and it looks so so beautiful and almost European looking maybe. A lot of popular dog Instagrammers go. I feel like it's a place to see and be seen if you're a dog Instagrammer. I'm just gonna finish up my makeup and then get dressed and then we're gonna go. Rosie's gonna go too. Right? We're never gonna get to go to this restaurant. It's like, it's just not happening. It's not fair. Let's book next week. It's just getting stronger and stronger. Well, I guess we're eating leftover quinoa for lunch. explain what the heck is happening right now because I didn't tell you what I'm doing. So we're doing another staycation. My husband and I are checking into the JW Marriott. It has been one year since our last staycation. No, maybe not. Wait, okay, I'm wait, sorry. maybe I don't, I'm, I have no idea what time it is. I haven't drank coffee today because I'm trying to cut it out for, for many reasons or at least for a, a, a little while. Um, so this is day one of me with no coffee and I'm going through withdrawals. It's really bad. I feel fuzzy. I feel tired. 
I hate this feeling and I never realized how dependent I am on it until, until now. So if you see me holding a coffee, it's probably a decaf because I'm the type of person, I feel like there's two types of people, people who either like the taste of coffee or like the caffeine side of coffee. Actually three, I'm the, I'm the person that likes both sides. I like the caffeine and I love the taste. So this morning I had a decaf coffee because I just, I need to wake up with that flavor and something warm and watching my YouTube. That's just like my morning routine. So yeah, I'm, I'm on to decaf coffee. We'll see how it goes. Um, but whoa, we're, <laughs> I just went off on a tangent. Anyway, we're doing a staycation. JW Marriott invited us to stay for the night. Looking forward to using the pool and the dinner tonight too. And the breakfast tomorrow. Oh, the breakfast tomorrow. It's been a while since I've had hotel breakfast. So uh, let me show you guys around. They have just offered us some welcome tea in the cutest little basket. Look at this. So inside, they have this gorgeous teapot. And then through here, we have the living room with the TV and couches and a gorgeous view of Victoria Harbor. And through here is the bedroom. There's a really nice desk area, lounge chair, big king size bed. This is a bathroom. Oh wow, that is a massive bathtub. Very nice. Looking forward to spending the next 24 hours in here. Beautiful room. End of tour. <laughs> this outfit we're gonna be taking some content around the hotel and I was trying to scout location so I checked out their Instagram and guess what they posted this morning a photo of a coffee <laughs> <laughs> torture all right I'm going to the pool it is about to thunderstorm it seems like and the weather uh, network is also telling us to like take shelter because a rainstorm is coming but I came here for the pool and I'm gonna go to the pool. I've got my book, I've got everything, and I'm gonna sit there until they kick me out. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not. <laughs> Lunch just arrived. We're having Hainanese chicken rice. Um, the chicken, these are all the sauces, and then they have a really fragrant ginger rice and a soup on the side. It's so dark out. I really want to go to the pool still, but we're just waiting to see what's going to happen with the weather. Hopefully I can get down there soon. I'm <laughs> going to eat in the meantime. Dinner just arrived. We went for some Chinese food. This is a soup. Bamboo pith soup, fried rice, um, mushrooms and chicken and asparagus and some more mushrooms and truffle i believe this one has and this is mango pudding for dessert there's a little milk on the side and fried rice mm, these mushrooms are good that's so juicy i don't know what kind of mushroom it is look who joined us <laughs> we oh. We just joined for dinner and now we're going on a little night walk. slept really good last night the bed is super comfy we woke up to the rainstorm I think we were supposed to have yesterday it is pouring it is so dark 
but it sounds really nice on the window. Today we're gonna have breakfast. I really wanna go check out their gym, so I might do that. And then we're gonna pack up and check out. major need of a haircut but she's going this Saturday back home now I had such a nice relaxing time it went by very fast um, I'm not sure if this is happening in your area but here in Hong Kong a lot of hotels are offering discounted packages right now to encourage the local people to go and stay there because they have lost a lot of business in the past couple of years um, so the package that we did at JW Marriott was the JW eat well uh, JW Stay Well Eat Well package so it includes some of your food and your hotel room and yeah it was really nice to have a little change of scenery just for one night and try some different food I wish I got to use the pool longer but I'll just have to go back when it's a sunnier time so I am back home <laughs> did you miss me or what I can't tell I can't tell so I'm gonna unpack now get a little bit of work done and I will check in with you guys probably on another day. Good morning, Rosie got a haircut. <laughs> this was her before photo and this is her after. Bumpy, is that you? I think I got the wrong dog. She literally transformed from a lion to a baby bear. We're now on our way to Sai Kong because I found this really cool restaurant. I found it first. <laughs> household this morning. We found this restaurant to like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We were walking by in Saigon and Tom pointed it out. And then I told her it's a good restaurant, let's try. And then she said it's not good. <laughs> and then today she showed me the IG photos of the same restaurant and tell me oh it's so good, let's go. <laughs> To be fair, that day, I didn't even look at the menu. That day I was in one of those moods where I just wasn't hungry. I didn't, I wasn't saying yes to anything you showed me. Is it called like husband negativity? Is that, a, oh, are you coining the term? Yeah. Whatever husband said is not good. Just started pouring again, but we got an umbrella. This place is all plant-based and they have tapas. There's some Asian options and some uh, Western food options as well. Momos, dal, eggplant curry, jackfruit curry, cauliflower rice. Uh, that is a banh mi wrap. Oh, I heard the crunch. So good. Mmm. So crispy and then fluffy on the inside. Wow, what's that? Curry beef bun. and a half on making this recipe and then I added two tablespoons of salt instead of sugar to it and ruined it. <sighs> <When's your dinner? laughs> it's my dinner tonight. No chicken. <laughs>
All right, it's the next day now. I'm trying the potato hack. Apparently, if you peel a couple potatoes and put them in raw for about 20 to 30 minutes, they will soak up all the salt. So I'm giving it a try. Let's see how it goes. I added way too much salt. Tonight, Chanel is celebrating their 100 year anniversary of number five here in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna be going and I'm gonna start getting ready and hopefully turn this into something nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet in terms of my hair and makeup. I'm thinking straight. I haven't worn it straight in a while. The trick to get really straight, smooth hair is to use a brush. So what you wanna do, I'm gonna straighten my hair in sections. Now usually I wouldn't blow dry my hair, but today I'm in a bit of a rush. But I usually let it air dry, and when I do, my hair is quite wavy. So if I wanna straighten it after that, um, it can take a little while to do. So in order to also save my hair, I wanna minimize the number of times I run over it with a straightener. So if I just go from my wavy hair and do it like that, it might take me three or four times going over it to, to make it straight. But with this method, I can literally only do it one time and it's gonna be super straight and super sleek. Basically what you wanna do, brush through your hair, place the brush at the top, place your straightener behind your brush, and then as your brush goes through your hair, follow behind it with the straightener. Perfect. That's literally all I need to do and then move on to the next piece. I don't need to go over it again and again. The event is in the evening, so I think I'm gonna go for a smoky eye look. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of gray and then some black in my outer corners and in my crease. And I'm just gonna keep blending and layering until some sort of smokiness forms and it looks good. A little bit of highlighter. I'm using the Rouge Coco Bloom Lipstick in 110 Chance and just dabbing it on my lips. For my outfit, Chanel sent over a couple of items. They sent me this sweater and this bag. All right, so I need something for the bottom. My immediate thought is to grab a long skirt. But then my second thought is it's because these items I feel have quite feminine energy with the sequins and the sparkles and just the curves and the softness of the bag, I think I wanna juxtapose it with something a little bit more masculine and tailored like my faux leather shorts and probably some combat boots. Final touch. I'm ready to go. had a good sweat. I'm wearing my new airy leggings. I bought them because Joyce recommended them to me. She said whenever she wears them, she often has to check if she's still wearing pants because it feels like you're not. So that sounded really good to me. And I went to check out the new shop, which just newly opened in Hong Kong. Joyce actually did the campaign with J. Lu and Cherry and it's really cute. And uh, yeah, she was right. I love them. They feel so nice. So if you haven't yet, whenever you are in the mall or if you pop into Aerie, definitely give these a feel. You will love them. Super comfy. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a home workout now. The gym was pretty busy, so there wasn't that much space. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an arms thing. This looks really easy, but it starts to burn really fast. Up and down. Go to your happy place, keep circling. Go to your happy place and keep searching. <laughs>
the day. I just got ready, shot some short videos, cleaned up, and then we went to the grocery store, and now it's about time to get ready for dinner. We have a slight problem with our living room. I think you can see it, right? It is white, and you can see it is pristine. There are no marks on it whatsoever, and that's because it's not really lived in. So we made the big mistake of ordering a couch just purely by the looks of it online and not actually sitting on it and feeling what it feels like. We've been living in our home for almost three years now, I think, and have been wanting to replace this couch for pretty much the whole time. Uh, and we're finally gonna do that today. So let's go furniture shopping. Horizon Plaza, it's a giant building full of all different uh, furniture shops in Hong Kong and we pretty much know where we want to go. We're going to this place called Tree which does a upcycled furniture. I got a bunch of stuff there before like wooden bowls, cushions and stuff, some more accent pieces but they're all really good quality and I love them so we really want to try out their couches and they also have a cafe so we're going to eat lunch there first. This place is also an outlet mall so it's half furniture shops, half um, like fashion and accessories. Number 15. That's mean we have all in total 15 pieces all over the world. People buy the whole thing? Yes. And they put this in their house? Uh, some of them, but not in Hong Kong yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And actually, one of a famous chef bought this one oh. in England. England. Who is that? Gordon Ramsay? Yes. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> I love him as well. What do you in Hong Kong got? Wow. Ah, uh, this is this one is so nice. Huh? This is 100%. Yeah, you guys walk and then you will see the difference. Oh my god, this hugs you. <laughs> <laughs> the most popular is natural. Mm. I think this one. You like slow, yeah. I think no. But I think we can go a bit. I have gone one full month now, I think, or just about one full month without coffee. And here's the update on how I feel. So I think the worst day was the first day and then it slowly got a little bit easier. I would say one of the pros is I'm having some of the best sleeps in my life. I think I would relate it to like how I slept back when I was a teenager before I ever tried coffee. Um, you know when you would have those really deep sleeps and you could sleep really long in my adult life or after coffee? I would say I would always be like, I don't know how I slept so long or like took naps or just slept in. I think it was because I didn't have coffee so my body just did what it would normally do. And so I, I'm having those kind of sleeps again. Um, but I find it harder to focus. So I can work really well in the mornings after I wake up and like throughout the afternoon. But when it hits late afternoon, I have a really hard time focusing and that's when I would usually have my afternoon coffee or even at least my morning one would help me a little bit. But I'm finding it really hard to just sit and focus on one task like editing. I also felt a little bit out of it, a little bit foggy and a little bit not like myself for a while. I think I'm doing a bit better with that, but um... I do miss it. I do miss it. I might have one. Let me know if you guys have tried this. Have you tried to go without caffeine, without coffee, or without tea? How did you feel? Did you go back to drinking caffeine? Um, and if you did, what was it like when you had your first sip? I'm wondering if it's gonna feel like how I felt when I had my first sip of coffee. <laughs> That's gonna like give me crazy amounts of energy. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching another monthly vlog. Um, I will see you in my next video. See you soon.